All right, this is a video of the uh, sheet motion uh, portion of my backyard here. And uh, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get some uh, cardboard. I'm gonna uh, cover the area that you wanna sheet mulch. This is gonna act as a weed block and uh, you know, stop the uh, grass from coming through. Once you spread that out, <clears throat> making sure you overlap your pieces so uh, you know no grass can uh, get through there. You're going to wet it down real good and you're going to cover it with the mulch of your choice. And uh, you can either get this from a tree service or you can buy it, you know, from your big box store or what have you. But you want to do uh, at least two to three inches of uh, a thick of mulch to, uh, to really get that, uh, get a good mulch and down. So here we go. I'm going to sheet mulch this, uh, this section of the backyard here since it's hard to get grass to grow and there's a heck of a hill and sheet mulch around my, uh, my little mini micro orchard here probably uh, make it look better at least and hopefully we can uh, develop some uh, better fertility in the soil in a couple of years actually what I'm doing here is I'm, I went out and scrounged up some uh, cardboard from uh, uh, furniture places and uh, you know big box stores and stuff and uh, actually going to just spread that out on the uh, ground here and cover it with some mulch. I, I'm using uh, Cypress here. I got it from uh, Home Depot. It's like a $2.35 a bag. But uh, yeah, you can use uh, your color mulch or your choice or whatever. But since I got a big area to do, and I really didn't want to go in and order something from a tree service. I have them dumping off the tree because I really didn't know what I was getting. I didn't want to. I'm gonna dump off something that had a load of poison ivy or something in it. So, uh, going a, a little bit more expensive route, but you know, most tree services will dump it off for free if you need it. So, keep that in mind if you want to uh, uh, dump it. I'm gonna give you. Now, I'm gonna set back and let Mother Nature do her job. Uh, she's gonna wet the cardboard up for me. Uh, what I didn't tell you earlier is once you get it all laid in place, over there you're gonna will and soak it down pretty much like it's looking over there now and then you're gonna cover it with your mulch and uh, as I had just gotten free mulch this has been a free deal free cardboard you know, free water to wet down the, uh, the cardboard and if it had been free mulch that would have been a hat trick you has got a robin over there in the distance uh, I moved a paver and there's some earthworms and it's like some termite larvae under there, so he's helping himself to that. I really appreciate that job he's doing. It's been one rainy past 10 days, but uh, it's welcome. I'm collecting it. I got my uh, water collection uh, totes up there. And I've got collection there down here. Getting filled up as we speak. And I'm probably going to have to re-fertilize my raised beds back there uh, and ensure all the fertilizer has been leached out since it's been raining so much. But I'm getting this cardboard good and soaked, so once it stops, I'll be back to it. And at least that spot won't be so muddy anymore. Yeah. This video of the boss lady working hard. Hey, boss lady. What? Boss lady. What? See, I'm sweating. Sweat running down my face. Mom, that's water. I don't do hard labor. <laughs> you just, okay. You just splashed yourself with water. I don't do hard labor. Am I sweating yet? No, you're just glistening. And I'm dirty. Yeah. Good job. Come on, workers. Almost complete. All right, 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 all right. Put it on the ground. 